Okay fans, this is part two of your halfway through the wrestle weekend report. The last half got cut off. Uh, going back, uh, the AW thing, um, good show. The, the UFC thing, I, I really, like I said, I didn't really, it, it was fine. Uh, Frankie Edgar, a bloodbath. Uh, if you want to watch that fight, no spoilers for me. If you taped but did not watch it yet, I'll just say you can cut to the, the main event of the UFC Fight Night Frankie Edgar fight. No spoilers. Good fight, though. Uh, what else? Uh, this NXT thing. Okay, so everyone's going to be circle jerking about Pat McAfee here, or Pat McAfee. Uh, everyone's going to be saying, oh my god, oh my god. Folks, uh, just to break a little bit of the mystery, uh, McAfee and... Um, Adam Cole, I'm suspicious or just guessing that they've put years into that match, meaning that all these years that Pat McAfee was doing his little uh, interview show, all these years that uh, Adam Cole was doing things, uh, what it was really about was uh, they were working together behind the scenes. They were trying training behind the scenes to unveil this match. I mean, Pat McAfee was not... <laughs> Just doing two weeks of work here. Was Pat McAfee a great wrestler? Look at this little crocodile thing here, by the way, folks. I don't know if you get that in the Northeast, these little crocodiles. But uh, Pat McAfee, um, you know, it was good. It was a good match. Um, he did some jumping and so forth. Kind of did a little bit of too much Larry Zabisco, you know, selling while in the figure four. A little too much charisma from, from McAfee, like a little too much 80s or 90s wrestling guy stuff. Was he impressive? Yes. Was he good on the mic? Yes. Uh, the only thing about McAfee, I, I can say it's a little unfortunate that his specialty maneuver, the punt, is the same thing that Randy Orton's doing. Uh, it's a little bit of a, you know, a gimmick infringement brother, but maybe they'll have a match. Pat McAfee versus Randy Orton. Is, is Pat McAfee the fucking rookie of the year? Uh, is he better than Ronda Rousey in her debut? Eh. You know, I'll give McAfee credit. It was a singles match. It wasn't a tag team match. And Ronda's first match was a, a tag team. So her weaknesses or whatever, she kind of had people there to help her if anything went wrong. But, hey, we got to tip our fucking hat to McAfee. I'd never heard of the fucker until a month ago. And to be honest, I've never really been interested in NXT. So he got me a little interested in this bullshit. So I'll give McAfee fucking credit. Am I going to fucking jerk off a ham sandwich about it? No. So there you have it. Uh, what else? Killer Cross or Kenyan Cross, whatever the fuck his name is, uh, winning the NXT title. It seems like an easy way to bump up, uh, you know, Keith Lee to the main roster for whatever that's worth now, which basically <laughs> he gets to wrestle in the Thunderdome, and he gets to be um, turned into the, you know, Junkyard Dog 1988 by Vince McMahon. So sorry, Keith. I mean, that's the unfortunate state of the WWE is when you get promoted. You, you actually get demoted in the WWE. Uh, so that's interesting. What the fuck else happened? Uh, tag team thing. Oni Lorkin, by the way. It did cross my mind. Oni Lorkin, who was on the pre-show, was a guy named Biff Busick. Great guy, great wrestler. And here he is putting 10, 15 years into the wrestling business. And he's on the free show, and this Pat McAfee fuck is, is wrestling Adam Cole. So is there justice in this goddamn world of wrestling? Apparently not. I mean, I guess the way to be a WWE uh, main event superstar is to do a podcast or to do something outside of wrestling, which gets a very slim crossover because that's what the WWE, you know, puts their dick in their ass about. Uh, what else? You know, I don't know. Uh, the, 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 the ladder fucking match, Gargano and all these fucks. Um, I thought Gargano was this Damian Priest fuck doesn't do much for me. Uh, he gets into the fucking whirlpool with a couple of chicks. Uh, I guess that's supposed to be some type of tip of the hat to Ric Flair, 1987. I didn't really buy it. Uh, I don't see the appeal of Damian Priest. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, it just seems like another Aleister Black. When called upon by the main roster, he'll be um, homogenized and, and genericized, and he'll be nothing. So whatever. Uh, overall. Uh, you know, I don't, it wasn't really a head-to-head -head one thing. The NXT thing was a was a network special or a biggest show. Uh, can you really compare takeover? Can you compare that to a weekly Dynamite that's kind of postponed? I don't think it's a fair head head head-to-head -head, head -head comparison. Uh, you definitely say that they were both pretty strong shows for what they were. In this no fan COVID era, I think uh, we can all be very critical of these wrestling shows and 
and be mean to them. But I mean, I think you give these fucks a break. They're trying to do their fucking jobs. Uh, the big surprises for me, or the big highlights over both shows, were really uh, McAfee, the Eddie Kingston thing. Oh, the tag team tournament. I want to go back to that to AEW. This women's tag team tournament. Look, I'm sorry, I can't remember the names of the two Puerto Rican ladies that won this thing. But I'm glad I kind of saw that coming that Brandy, Brandy, her ego and her shtick is, oh, you know, by doing the favors in the finals, that's how they're best promoting. Once again, it's that inner circle mentality of, of the uh, AEW people that they won't go so far as to push Brandy and her partner to win the tournament, but they'll get to the finals and then put over these other chicks and they think they're doing the right thing. Granted, they could have lost in the first or second round and let somebody else get to the finals, but in their mind, you know, losing to them in the finals is the greatest thing they could do. Brandy looked good as always. Uh, the match was decent. I'm glad those other ladies won. I can't remember their fucking names. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hope you're enjoying your wrestling weekend. We've got SummerSlam coming up. Who am I predicting? I'm predicting Orton to win. I guess, like, now the new thing, if you watch these Wrestle Talk videos and these other assholes, it's like, oh, they can't decide backstage who's going to win. Well, I, I guess I'm supposed to care. I mean, they, they can choose who they want. I mean, you know, so. But I think it will be interesting to see what happens. I will probably go. I'm still, I've picked officially uh, in the Hameen uh, Media Group on Facebook. I've officially picked Randy Orton to win. I could be wrong. We'll see, assholes. So enjoy your wrestling summer slam weekend as this wrestling weekend continues. MikeMessier.com. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like all my fucking videos. And do all these wonderful things. Goodbye.